So for our final lesson of this module, we're going to take a look at creating and solving some multi-step word problems. So for these, we're going to be given the tape diagram, and we're going to be kind of crafting our word problem from that. So if we look at number one, we have our tape diagram, and you notice that we are given our total, okay, which means we need some subtraction in there somewhere, and our total has been divided up into three sections. Okay, so we know two of the sections. 4,295 and 982. So our question is going to be, we need to find out how much is in this third section. So we need to start off by figuring out, well, 7,104 of something is our total. So what we could do is turn it into people attending a football game. So we could say that there were 7,104 people who attended a football game. Okay, well now we need to take those people and divide them up into three different kinds. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll have 4,295 be men, 982 are women, and then the rest are going to be children. Okay, so we have our men, women, and children attending a football game. So now our question then is going to become how many children attended the game? So to solve this, first thing we need to do is add up the men and the women, okay? And then we'll subtract that from our total, okay? Okay, so when we combine the men and the women, we get 5,277 people, okay? So now we need to figure out how much more do we need to get from here to our total. Okay, so now we take our 7,104 minus 5,277. Okay, so now when we go to subtract, we need to decompose right away. But we don't have anything in our tens place. So we're going to take our 10 tens and turn them into 9 tens. Okay, and then 4 ones becomes 14 ones. Okay, now we can go ahead and subtract our ones and our tens. Okay, but again, we get to our hundreds place and need to decompose again. So seven thousands become six thousands, and now we have ten hundreds. Okay, so we get a final total here of one thousand eight hundred twenty-seven. So now we can say there were one thousand eight hundred twenty-seven children. Okay. All right, moving on to number two. All right, now our tape diagram looks slightly different. Okay, you can see that we have two different sections here. So we have two different items. Now, one of them has 215,554 of something. So it's a pretty large number. And we can see our second item here has more, has 90,457 more of whatever our object is. And our final question here, we need to solve for the total of the two amounts. Okay, so our first step is going to be finding out however much B is, then adding it to find out our total. So since this is kind of a large number, we're going to make this the price of a home. Okay, so we'll say house A costs $215,554. Okay, now house B is going to be a little bit more expensive, a little bit nicer house. So we're going to say house B costs $90,457 more than house A. Now we need to know how much do both houses cost all together. So if we were to buy both houses, how much would it cost? Okay, so to solve for this, there's a couple things that we could do here. One thing we could do is find out the cost of B, then add it to A in two steps. Okay, another way we could do it is to make one larger addition problem. So what we could do is we know house A costs $215,554. Okay. Now house B here is that same amount plus a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write another $215,554, which is this right here, and then another 90457 Okay, so this right here is house A, okay, and then house B is that amount right there, okay, so we've kind of combined our two steps into one bigger step. 
So now we can go through and add these all up. So 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 7 is 15. Okay. 5, 10, 15, plus 1 is 16. Okay. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 5 is 11, plus 4 is 15. Okay, 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Okay, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, plus 9 is 12. Okay, and then 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So now we get a total amount of 521,565. So we've kind of combined our two steps into one larger addition problem. So the two houses, okay, cost... 521,565 all together. Okay, now moving on to number three here. It's going to make it a little bit harder. Okay, so now for number three, we have three different items. Okay, and again, we're going to be still solving for the total amount, but we only know the amount of our first bar. Our second bar is less than the first bar, and our third bar is greater than the third bar. So we have a couple different steps we're going to have to do here. So let's make these the weight of whales. So now whale A is going to weigh 8,200 kilograms. Whale B, a little bit smaller, is going to weigh 3,500 kilograms less than whale A. Okay. And then finally, whale C is going to weigh 2,010 more than whale A. And now we want to know how much do the three whales weigh all together. Okay. So we need to get to a point where we can add the values of all three bars. But right now, we only have the measurement of whale A. So, first thing we do is find out the measurement of whale B. So we're going to take our 8,200 minus 3,500. Okay. I'm going to decompose at our hundreds place. Okay. So now we get 4,700 kilograms for whale B. Okay. So now we know this is 4,700. Okay, now we need to find the measurement of whale C. So we're going to take, again, our 8,200, and we're going to add it to 2,010. Okay, add that up, and we get 10,210. Okay, so now we know the total amount here of whale C, 10,210. Okay, so now we need to add up all three. So now we have whale A, okay, whale B is 4,700, and then finally whale C. Okay, so we go to add these up, okay, 2 plus 7 is 9, plus 2 is 11, 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 4 is 13. Okay, so we get a total of 23,110 kilograms. So the three whales Way 10,210 kilograms. Okay. Finally, number four. Okay. This time there we are given our number sentence. Notice we're given the total, and we need to find one of the add ends. So our tape diagram is going to look like this. We have our total. We know two out of the three add ends, and we need to solve for that final add end. Okay, so for this one, we're just going to make it a survey of people's favorite juices. So we have a survey of 26,854, so that's our total number of people. Okay, now 17,729 preferred orange juice. Okay. 3,731 preferred grape juice. Okay, and then the rest preferred apple juice. So we need to find out how many people prefer apple juice over the other two kinds of juices. So now this is just like question number one that we did. We need to add up the two known add-ends and then subtract that from our total. Okay, so we're going to take our 17,729 plus 3,731. Okay. 
Okay, so the orange juice and the grape juice combined for 21,460. Okay, so now we're going to take that, subtract it from our sum. Okay, we need to do some decomposing at our tens place. Okay, and we get 5,394. So 5,394 people prefer apple juice.